In this video, we're going to walk through the solution to a specific heat example problem. Hopefully, you've had a chance to try it out. Um, so we're being asked to calculate the amount of heat that's required to raise the temperature of a 250 gram sample of water from 10 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. And we've been given the information that the specific heat of water is 4.184 joules per gram degrees Celsius. Uh, so again, that thing that I'm trying to find is if we're calculating the amount of heat, uh, which is Q, uh, is our variable for heat or energy related to heat. So again, I'm going to pull out all of the information given to me that's important and listed out so it's easier to kind of see what I'm working with. <coughs> um, I have a, a mass of 250 grams. I have a temperature initially of zero degree, or sorry, 10 degrees Celsius, and a final temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. And I'm given this constant specific heat uh, for water, that's 4.184 joules per grams degrees Celsius. And the question is asking about heat, heat is Q, and I don't know what that is. So now looking at this, and I think the most important piece of this is looking at the actual variables I have. Um, I can then connect that to an equation I can use to solve the problem. And so this is gonna be our heat equation uh, where heat's equal to the mass, ah, that's an N for moles, mass times specific heat times the change in temperature. Uh, and that change in temperature is going to be our final temperature minus our initial temperature. So I actually have everything I need to solve for Q, what I'm interested in, the heat of the, that's required to actually increase the temperature of the water. Um, and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in. I'm gonna first calculate this change in temperature. So this is gonna be equal to my 100 degrees Celsius minus my 10 degrees Celsius, which will be 90. Now, if I'd been given my temperature in Kelvin, or I'd been given a specific heat in joules per grams Kelvin, I'd actually have the same value with different units. Remember that the temperature scale for Celsius, the increment change between a degree Celsius is the same increment of change in a degree Kelvin. The difference is just the zero definition on those two scales. And so let's prove this. So if I'm, since so it's in degrees Celsius, if I wanted to do it in Kelvin, um, I'm going to do these conversions in my head, sorry. But let's say I was told that I had uh, 373 Kelvin for my in final temperature and 283 Kelvin for my initial temperature. Well, subtracting those two, I I'm going to get the exact same value of 90 Kelvin. And so the numeric value is the same between these because the degree difference is defined as the same for um, temperature between Celsius and Kelvin. All right, but that's a little bit of an aside. Um, now let's take a look at uh, plugging into our heat expression. Uh, so I want to solve for Q, uh, and that's equal to my mass times specific heat times change in temperature. So I'm going to use my mass of 250 degrees Celsius, or I'm sorry, 250 grams. Uh, my specific heat, uh, that is that 4.184 joules divided by grams degrees Celsius for the unit. And then my change in temperature, which is coming from that information about initial and final temperature that I calculate right here. So 90 degrees Celsius. And I'm just going to plug that into my calculator. And when I do that, I get a value that is 94140. Zero. Uh, and my units here are going to be, here, let's, it's a little messy. My units are going to be grams times joules um, times degrees Celsius divided by grams times degrees Celsius. And my grams cancel out, my Celsius cancels out. And what I have is going to be units of joules. I also am going to um, come here and, and try to determine what my sig fig should be. Um, I accidentally wrote this problem with just one sig fig. Um, I've got one sig fig here for both of my temperature values and two for my mass. Uh, my specific heat is a definition. It's a, it's a physical property of the water. Um, so I'll just report this to one significant figure. Um, and so this is going to be equal to 90,000 joules. 